Hello everyone! Pag-usapan naman natin ang subtraction of functions. Kapag meron tayong dalawang functions, we have f of x and our g of x. Kapag kaisusubtract natin yung g of x kay f of x, simply put, ang subtraction of functions, we have our f minus g of x is this equal to f of x minus g of x. Now, we apply natin to dito sa ating unang example. We have to perform our subtraction of functions. We have f minus g of x. And then, kailangang i-evaluate yung ating f minus g of 3. f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 4. Tapos yung g of x naman natin is equal to 6x minus 3. Applying yung ating concept for subtraction of functions, yung ating f minus g of x, this is just equal to, kunin natin yung ating f of x, And then, ibawas natin yung ating g of x. Our f of x is simply x squared plus 2x plus 4. Tapos yung g of x naman natin is 6x minus 3. Kaya kapag sinulat natin, our f of x is x squared plus 2x and then plus 4. Then we have our operation subtraction, kaya ito ay magiging minus. For this part of our discussion, I want you to focus kasi dito nagkakamali kadalasan yung mga studyante. We are doing yung ating subtraction dun sa ating buong g of x. Kaya it is important to put a grouping symbol here bago natin isulat yung ating g of x na 6x minus 3. Bakit? Kasi kapag ka walang grouping symbol dito at basta na lang natin nilagay yung ating g of x, so this is minus 6x minus 3, magkaiba si minus quantity 6x minus 3, tsaka yung minus 6x minus 3 lang. Kasi dito, yung buong g of x natin, yung 6x minus 3, yun ang sinusubtract natin dito sa ating f of x. Pero kapag wala tayong grouping symbol, ang nakasubtract lang ay si negative 6x. Kaya etong dalawa, they are not equal. So that is something that we have to take note kapag ka nagsusubtract tayo ng function. Now we can proceed with our operation. So this is equal to, Etong part na ito muna ang ating galawin. So, let me demonstrate. We have our x squared plus 2x and then plus 4. Tapos, subtracting yung buong terms, yung 6x gagawin kong minus 6x, tapos yung minus 3 naman ay gagawin kong plus 3. Again, ginawa natin yun kasi we are subtracting yung buong terms natin. Ngayong tapos na tayo doon, pagsamahin na lang natin yung pare-pareho ang variables. Kaya this is equal to, magsimula tayo doon sa pinakamataas na exponent ni x which is x squared. Kaya isulat muna natin x squared, tapos pababa tayo kay x lang, kaya meron tayong 2x and then negative 6x. So writing that, we have plus 2x minus 6x. And then yung mga numbers na lang, we have 4 and then we have 3. Kaya this is plus 4 and then plus 3. Then doing yung operations natin, this is equal to, this is simply x squared. Tapos doon naman sa mga x natin, since pareho ng variable na kasama si 2x tsaka si minus 6x, gagawin na lang natin yung operations ng coefficients nila which is 2 minus 6. 2 minus 6 that is negative 4. Tapos, kopyahin na lang natin yung ating variable na x. And then lastly, yung numbers na natira, we have 4 plus 3. So, that is simply 7. Kaya yung f minus g of x natin, that is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 7. Now that we are done with our f minus g of x, gawin naman natin yung susunod na pinapahanap ng ating problem, which is here, yung f minus g of 3. Let us evaluate kapag ang input natin ay 3. Writing that down, we have our f minus g of 3. Kapag ka nag-evaluate tayo ng function, yung input natin na 3, isasubstitute natin sa lahat ng value ng x. On our case, nandito, tsaka etong x na to. Doing that, yung x squared natin ay magiging 3 squared minus 4 tapos yung x naman dito ay magiging 3 din and then plus 7. Then as we continue with our operation, we have 3 squared, 3 times 3, that is 9, minus 4 times 3, that is 12, kaya this is minus 
and then lastly our plus 7. Kaya kapag ka ginawa natin our f minus g of 3, this is just simply equal to 9 minus 12 is negative 3 plus 7 that is 4. This is our answer as we evaluate yung function natin at 3. And that's it for our first example. Let us now proceed with our example number 2. So we have to perform our f minus g of x, then i-evaluate naman natin siya at positive 2. Ang f of x naman natin ay 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 7. Tapos, ang g of x natin ay 2x squared plus 4x minus 1. Then, as we do our f minus g of x, this is just equal to yung f of x natin and then minus yung g of x. Kaya this is equal to, let's start with the value ng ating f of x. And that is 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 7. And then minus, same as nung warning ko dun sa ating first example, kailangan nakagrouping symbol yung ating g of x. That is 2x squared plus 4x minus 1. And then for our next step, para mawala yung grouping symbol dito, kunin natin yung opposite signs nung nasa loob. So this is equal to, rewrite muna natin yung ating f of x, that is 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 7. Tapos yung 2x squared, gawin natin negative 2x squared, and then yung positive 4x ay magiging negative 4x, tapos yung negative 1 ay gawin nating positive 1. At natanggal na natin yung ating grouping symbol. Ngayon, pagsamahin na lang natin yung pare-pareho ang variables. Starting dun sa pinakamataas na exponent ni x, that is x cubed, kaya si 3x cubed lang yung uunahin natin. As we write it down here, tapos punta naman tayo kay x squared. Meron tayong dalawa, minus 5x squared tsaka minus 2x squared. Kaya pag sinulat natin sila, we have minus 5x squared minus 2x squared. Then yung ating x nandito, tapos si minus 4x. Kaya eto ay x minus 4x. And then lastly, yung ating numbers na 7 and then 1. So this is plus 7 plus 1. Ngayong sama-sama na yung pare-pare yung variables, then let us continue with our operation. This is equal to, solo lang naman yung may x cubed natin, kaya this is already 3x cubed. Tapos dalawa yung x squared natin, negative 5x squared minus 2x squared. Kaya ipeperform na lang natin yung operations ng coefficients nila, we have negative 5 minus 2. And that is simply negative 7 and then kopyahin na lang natin si x squared. For our x, pwede natin tong isulat as 1x minus 4x. Working on our coefficients, 1 minus 4 is negative 3 and then kopyahin na lang natin si x. And lastly, 7 plus 1, that is just simply 8. Kaya yung difference ng ating functions, we have f minus g of x. Our answer is 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 3x plus 8. That is how we subtract our functions. Pero meron pa siyang pinapa-evaluate. So let us evaluate here yung ating f minus g of 2. We have to evaluate f minus g of 2. Again, ang gagawin lang natin ay lahat ng x ay papalitan natin ng 2. Kaya this is equal to 3. Tapos yung x natin na nandito will become 2. Kaya this is 2 cubed minus 7. Tapos yung x squared ay magiging 2 squared. Then minus 3. Palitan ulit yung x. So this is times 2 plus 8. Order of operations, unahin muna natin yung ating exponent. Kaya this is equal to 3. Tapos ang 2 cubed natin, 2 times 2 times 2, that is simply 8. Kaya this is 3 times 8 minus 7. 2 squared is simply 4. Tapos, i-rewrite ko muna to para sabay-sabay tayo ng multiplication dun sa mga nauna natin. So this is equal to 3 times 8 is 24. Minus 7 times 4, this is 28. Minus 3 times 2, that is 6, tapos plus 8. Kaya for our f minus g of 2, this is simply equal to negative 2. So our final answer is negative 2. 
And that is the process kung paano tayo magsusubtract ng functions and then kung paano natin i-evaluate yung ating sagot.